So let's get started with what is Git and why do we really need it. So as per the documentation for Git given, Git is nothing but a free open source distributed version control system designed to handle everything from small to very large project with a very speed and efficiency. Now as a noob, I never understood what does that really mean. So let's go step by step. So the first thing is it is free. Why is it free? You don't have to pay license for it and it is openly available. Secondly, why is it open source? Because the source code for Git is freely available. You can share it among your friends. You can even customize it according to your needs. Now what is distributed? So this is very important. Why is it distributed? I'll, you will get to uh, the real essence of this in a further video. But as for now, you understand that it is not centralized. Means the repository is not centralized. It's, it's a one place, but everybody can clone it and use it and do the work in their own local way. So that is why it is called as distributed. It is not at one place. Everybody has its own copy. And the very important part of this definition is version control system. So what do we really mean by version control system? And why, why do we really need Git in so badly in this real world IT world is being answered by this question that why is it a version control system? So version control system is nothing but a record keeper for you. So say for example, if you have a file, okay. So let's take a file for you. Now, in this particular file, suppose two or three people are working together. What will happen if two or three people in the same team is working on the same particular file, then the, this, the version control system is nothing but the one who record, keeps the record as to who changed this file, how many days it was, back it was changed, what was changed. All those records is kept by Git and even it helps in resolving and discovering the conflicts that may arise when multiple team members simultaneously work on the same file and they might have changed made the changes at the same place. Then it is the work of version control system to help us discovering this particular change. So that was all about the theoretical way what Git was all about. In the next video, we will be seeing how to install Git and the further what all operations we can do in the Git. So let's meet in the next video. Thank you.